we believe that um, the platelet-derived growth factor signaling pathway is really important not only in uh, sarcoma genesis, so the uh, proliferation and propagation of this disease, uh, but also in normal mesenchymal biology. And so we believe it also plays a role in the tumor microenvironment. Um, there's been some very nice preclinical studies suggesting that when alaratumab, again, which is a very specific antibody to PDGFR alpha is combined with doxorubicin, we can see additive and synergistic effects in um, soft tissue sarcoma models. So this actually led to a clinical trial in which we looked at the combination of alaratumab plus doxorubicin versus doxorubicin in patients with metastatic soft tissue sarcoma. It was a fairly large phase two study in which we looked at 133 patients um, and we'll be presenting the final overall survival analysis. Um, the study was powered with a primary endpoint of progression-free survival to show a 50% improvement in progression-free survival for the combination of doxorubicin and alaratumab versus doxorubicin alone. The study met that predefined statistical primary endpoint with actually a 50% improvement in median progression-free survival. What was very exciting about the drug and so, or that's what was very exciting about the study and somewhat unexpected was there was a tremendous survival advantage uh, noted for the patients who received the combination of alaratumab and doxorubicin over doxorubicin alone. The uh, initial interim analysis showed a survival advantage of approximately 10 months. This is striking for us in the sarcoma community because we have yet to put any combination with doxorubicin against doxorubicin or any drug against doxorubicin which has shown any form of survival advantage. Most of the time we talk about potentially improving progression-free survival, but to see a 10-month improvement in overall survival may indicate a really marked change in how we can actually treat our patients. So this is now moving into a large randomized international phase three study which is currently ongoing.